Real knives for real chefs. 50,000 plus products in stock only at chefdepot.com. Hello, another knife review. Uh, this one is uh, of a handmade Japanese knife. Uh, my friend Shinichi Watanabe made this in Japan. Uh, he made this one just for me many, many years ago. And it's a very nice, light, thin blade Santuco knife. Uh, I like it. It's, it's very cool. It's got the traditional hoe wood. It's hand fitted in there. It's hand pounded uh, layered steel. And uh, wow. This knife really holds an edge. I don't use it that often. It's kind of a special knife. You could get one too. I want to say it's about 80 bucks. Uh, they're in stock. This knife weighs 4.4 ounces. It's 165 millimeters. The blade is 6.5 inches. You can only buy it one place. Chefdepot.com And I just want to show it to you. It's balanced so with your finger there it's pretty close to being a perfect balance there you go okay that's one of the tests you want to do with a good knife uh, how sharp is it right out of the box well look at that edge it's pretty nice here you go right out of the box I've got about six layers of paper here cutting it with no effort so it's pretty cool pretty nice uh, the similar knife this one right here uh, it's, it's, a, it's close, but it's losing its edge. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do to take this to another level. And the brand new one right out of the box, of course, needs nothing more than a strop. This is just a leather strop right here. You give a little stropping from the heel to the tip. Both sides. Okay, now we're going to check that piece of paper here once more. Oh yeah, that baby is sharp, let me tell you. I could shave your face with it. So there you go. Uh, these, of course, are in stock. There's a limited amount of them. It's a very special knife. They are handmade one by one. The Japanese symbols are on there. He stamps them when he's done. It's very cool. Uh, you just want to find our sushi knife section on the website and you'll find this knife there. Okay, to start off with, once again, I've got this wood jig that we built over this small prep sink. Uh, works pretty well, and uh, when this, uh, it holds the stones right in place like this. If your stone doesn't fit, you can add a little spacer. We have different stones that fit this. This is an 8,000 grit Japanese water stone. Needs to be wet. When it gets dirty, we use these little uh, 3M scrubbies, like this material. You can order these at the site as well. And you just give it a scrub, clean it off as best you can. The main thing is you want to get the uh, steel off of there. You just want to remove the steel and get it down to the ceramic stone only. This is a really good stone, by the way. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, knife and we're going to use the clips. You can score these clips on the site. To set a two, I like to use the large one. It's just preference, fits right over the knife, it's plastic line, doesn't scratch the blade. This gives you the perfect angle when you set the knife down. I can even let it go for you right there. That angle is approximately 15 degrees. The angle's not that important. The consistency is important. One side and the other side, same angle. Okay, we're using a little bit of water here. Uh, this is a nice setup. You can even turn the water on and splash it. Doesn't really matter how you do it. You just want a little bit of moisture there on your stone. Okay, and we're just going to go from the heel to the tip. This needs to be about the middle of the knife. Just like this. Once you get that angle down, you can go a little faster. Okay, you can actually see the edge. I've only just sharpened the very bottom edge. Do just a little bit more, I'll be right back. Okay, the last thing you can see how much metal's been removed. Not a lot, just a little bit. 
Uh, the very bottom edge of that blade has been sharpened. Remove the clip, wipe off the knife. We're just about done. There's one more thing I want to Once do. Once more, this leather strop. This thing's pretty cool. It, you can use it at different angles. You can hold it. You can hang it up. You can keep it in your truck or your car if you want to. It kind of comes in handy. But the main thing is you're polishing the knife just the bottom edge, both sides. Okay, so you're wondering just how sharp is this knife? Well, here's the uh, six layered paper from earlier and uh, I can tell you it's pretty darn sharp. I think it's sharper than the one out of the out of the box there. So check it out. Thanks for watching. All the items used are in stock at your sponsor chefdepot.com. Again, have a wonderful day. How sharp is this knife? Let's take a look here. God, I hate stickers on fruit. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. One more test here. This is a nice right pair. <coughs> We're going to uh, do a quick brumois with some of the center of it here. First you need a nice perfectly straight side. go very nice real knives for real chefs 50,000 plus products in stock only at chefdepot.com